first of all, welcome to Royal Thai Ladies Spa and Royal Thai Men's Spa. My name is Sukrit. I'm 40 years old from Thailand. Um, I've been managing um, um, three branches of Thai massage centers and spas in Doha. We have two branches for ladies here in, on Awab Street yeah. and one branch for lady in Bin Mahmud area. Yeah. We also have a branch for men uh, in New Salata area. Yeah. So uh, about myself, I, I love sports. I like football and I do play snooker and pool sometimes. Yeah. And I love learning new things. Yeah. And I listen to uh, interesting podcasts and audio books every day. Fifteen years ago, Qatar already had uh, advanced medical facilities. It had great big hospitals and high standard PHCC clinics, and you know good medical equipments and technology and great doctor. Uh, but however, um, it, what it really didn't have was um, an alternative medical treatment, which could greatly complement the modern day uh, medical treatment. Yeah. And Thailand was very big in that area. Um, Thai massage was becoming a big thing globally. Yeah. And uh, my wife, she loves Thai massage. Since she was little, she has gone to uh, very famous uh, massage yeah. centers and high-end resorts and spas and um, even rehab centers in hospitals. So she had a network of highly professional and uh, really experienced Thai massage therapists at hand. Yeah. So, so in 2011, yeah. we decided to bring the best of them to Qatar yeah. and to open our first branch here here on Awab Street, yeah. and that's how we started. When we started, uh, we were very young. I was 26 years old, my wife was just 24, yeah. and so we had to learn uh, everything from zero yeah. And as we went along, and we had to learn fast. Our capital was also limited uh, as we invested the entire savings into this project um, without taking any loans from the bank or from anyone. Yeah. So it was quite a ch challenging time for us financially as well. Uh, let me give you an example. Um, we wanted to import high quality spa products from Thailand yeah. uh, and spa equipments and the whole decoration from yeah. Thailand Perfect. to make it original. So. Um, we had to contact uh, big companies and leading suppliers to produce and to supply uh, all these uh, high quality products for us. And then we had to learn how to have a cargo shipped from Thailand to Qatar, yeah. uh, how to do the paperwork, custom clearance and everything, yeah. how to establish a company here, yeah. how to make a CR, computer card, Baladia paper, yeah. and so on. And, um, and how to issue visas for our professional therapists to come to work for us in Qatar. Yeah. And apart from that, we had to come up with a concrete spa concept and yeah. the layout of the spa yeah. uh, in order to contact um, you know, sub yeah, subcontractors for them to come and renovate the whole building and to um, decorate the spa according to uh, the master plan. Yeah. So, and they spoke only Arabic, so that was quite uh, challenging for us as well. <laughs> Very difficult. Yeah. Very difficult. Uh, but thank God uh, we kept pushing our physical and mental limits until the whole project was completed within two months and we really thank God we, we did it. don't have a three-page spa menu like others. Yeah. Um, what we have is in the spa menu is only 10 uh, treatments, which include uh, massage, skin, and facial treatments. Yeah. Okay, so uh, we really focus on what we do best. We, we, we do what, what we know only, and yeah. yeah. So um, 
basically we have Thai traditional massage, which which is our signature uh, treatment, yeah. and then aromatherapy, oil massage, hot oil massage, yeah. um, food reflexology uh, massage, um, Thai body scrub, Thai herbal compress uh, treatment, yeah. and. Um, you know, uh, lotus facial uh, treatment, which yeah. is a package for your yeah, face. face focus, yeah. Okay. So uh, yeah, as I said, we focus on these treatments that we know we do best only. Yeah. What makes us so different is our therapist, because we only take uh, only licensed professional therapists from Thailand with at least seven years of experience from renowned massage centers, uh, famous resorts and spas, and even hospitals in Thailand. Mm -hmm. So they must have the massage license, which could take up to 800 hours uh, of uh, theoretical and practical studies and, and, and a year of uh, internship at an accredited massage institution um, before they get the license. Yeah. And they must uh, have at least seven years of experience working in those renowned uh, massage centers, rehab centers, and resorts and spas before they could apply for the job to come to work for us. Yeah. And they must pass our practical exams in which we ask them to perform all kind of massage, skin treatments and facial treatments on us before yeah. we decide whether to take them to Qatar to work yeah. for us or not. Yeah, and uh, after coming to Qatar, yeah. they would have to go through a lot of uh, intensive and uh, recurrent trainings yeah. in order to maintain the service yeah. standard and to uh, have the same massage procedure. This is one of our services. This is the room for aroma oil massage. So when customer come, she will do the massage here. But we are in the lady brand, we cannot uh, show the customer because when they are doing massage, they have to take out all the clothes so we can see the room. Our mission was clear at the beginning, and that was to bring uh, Thai massage from Thailand to Qatar and uh, to be a therapeutic uh, treatment for daily life as well as to be uh, an alternative medical treatment for those who really need it. And I think we have done that quite well already. Uh, however, uh, all of our branches are in the center of Doha. So from this point onwards, uh, apart from uh, maintaining our service and improving our service uh, standards, yeah. um, we would like to expand our business outwards to other metropolitan areas of Qatar, such as uh, Al Rayyan, Al Wakra, uh, Al Khor, yeah. for example, in order to uh, reach more people and in order that we can help more people. Mm -hmm. In fact, since 2011, we have not increased our service prices at all, yeah. as our aim is to uh, not only to make it available, but to make it affordable for everyone in Qatar. Yeah. So um, we will try our best to keep it that way so that everyone in every corner of Qatar will benefit from it. I would like to take this opportunity to express my uh, deepest thankfulness yeah. to the entire royal family of Qatar and its government yeah. for uh, providing, um, for laying down a solid foundation yeah. and great infrastructures and very simple bureaucratic system in which a small um, you know, foreign investor like me could yeah. bring good products and services from my country to serve the people of Qatar yeah. and to um, to have a sustainable business here in Qatar. Yeah. I could not thank them enough. Uh, even though I'm not a Qatari, I feel so proud yeah. and honored to be a part of this uh, great country. The darkest time of our business was during uh, the COVID-19 10 months lockdown. Yeah. Uh, as you may know, um, the uh, Ministry of Public Health announced that uh, all of the spas massage centers and uh, you know the health clubs in Qatar had to be closed for the total of 10 months yeah. and um, you know at that time we had zero income coming in 
but we still had to pay for the staff basic salary as per the labor law and also the rent for all the commercial premises and staff accommodations and um, you know sponsorship fees and um, you know water electricity bills yeah. so I would like to thank all my landlords yeah. and my sponsor for giving us guidance and for help helping us financially to get through this difficult 10 months um, COVID lockdown. Yeah. And I could say that the real Qataris, they really have good hearts. Yeah. And you know, when you need help, they are willing to help you.